We've done the boys' side. We've won four state titles in a row. Going for our fifth this year in 2018. Since 2012, on the girls' side, we've been able to win. We've won six in a row. We're going for our seventh and eight in the last nine years. Just having a tradition like that is amazing for us. Having that tradition ever since I was a freshman showed me how dominant and united the Great Oak team was. It's, it's a great to be a part of the legacy. Looking forward to going out there and hopefully achieving the great things that they did. Our morning stadium routine, we usually do about 10 minutes of uh, just every step as fast as we can go up to the top. We'll do about seven, eight minutes of uh, just form lunges, just focusing on just strength going up and then uh, kind of gives them a, an aerobic breather. And then uh, the last 10 minutes or so, we'll do uh, every other step kind of racing to the top, leave a little competition in and making it fun. Traditionally, um, the, we've done a lot of stadiums in the past. In the last couple of years, I've kind of gone away from them. Um, and that was one of the things, one of the feedback pieces that I got from our boys last year was, you know, we went away from some of our strength stuff that we felt helped us uh, in 2015 when we won uh, in XN. So, you know, I've, I've tried to put some of that stuff back in and make sure. So yesterday was kind of a strength workout. Uh, yesterday afternoon, this was, you know, this morning was kind of a strength workout and just kind of worked out that way. But. Um, I think just focusing on trying to make sure that they're as strong physically as they can be uh, and mentally ready to handle what they're going to have this season is what we're shooting for. All right, lunges! The hope with bleachers is that you're developing a little bit of speed and a little bit of strength, you know, really that uh, explosive muscle fiber concept. So, you know, we, we try to really build an aerobic athlete, not just uh, not just build an aerobic distance runner. We're, we're trying to build someone that can not only run well on hills and, and you know, up and down the hills, but uh, also when we get to track and run a fast mile time and, and compete in the 800 and, and just be an all around explosive athlete. I like the stadiums because it gives us a little bit of a break from the long mileage, the eight miles every single day. It loosens us up and just gets us ready for the afternoon workout. That'll boy, Dallin. Just gotta find you a, a stair race to do. Very nice. Job worthy. This morning stadium runs are always fun. It's a little bit of a, uh, it's a change in the routine from the normal workouts that we do in the morning, which is usually just mileage. So it's really great to go out there with the guys and get in a few runs on the stadium. Nothing too hard, just loosens up the legs. That's a wrap for what we're doing this morning. And then later on, we're gonna have a seven mile uh, uh, run with some other core stuff. Yeah, the history of Great Oak Cross Country, we started in 2004. Uh, we had about 65 kids the first year and just tried to build a philosophy where we're trying to put together a national class program. In 2009, we had a really good team and we missed winning the state title by three points. So that was a bit of a heartbreaker and uh, came back and won in 2010. And that was our first state title and, and kind of gave us the, the feel that we could we could get to that next level. We could really go out there and compete. Since 2012, we've, on the girls' side, we've been able to win. So we've won six in a row. We're going for our seventh and eight in the last nine years or something like that. So doing pretty pretty well on the girls' side. On the boys' side, it took them a little bit longer to come along and, and kind of get everything going the right direction. Uh, so in 2014, we knew we had quite a collection of, of good junior boys. And, uh, we were able to put together a, a championship, state championship team that year. Didn't get the bid to NXN that year, so we were pretty upset about that. Uh, and that group of guys came back as seniors, worked really hard, and, and our top six seniors at uh, Nationals that year went on, and went on to win the national titles. All right, we're going to jump straight into our, uh, straight into our warm-up. Make sure you guys have checked in. Ready, go. <laughs> We usually spend about an hour in our warm-up process. Four lunges! So they're doing uh, drills, form drills, and then we'll jump into uh, doing speed ladders, uh, do a little bit of speed stuff, and then uh, eventually we'll do our 30 minutes of core. So that's what we start our, our practices with generally uh, each day, and then some days we do our hits. Uh, today we'll actually do a core hit at the end of practice, so we'll do our warm-up, then they're going to have an eight-mile run, and then we'll do our core hit to finish up. Keep your head up. One. Two. Three. Just relax and get out and have a fun run. Don't overly kill it. Just, just uh, enjoy being out there together. Sound good? Uh, 
Alright, you guys ready? Alright, let's go. For our recovery runs, it's really just to run as a group and relax and try to enjoy the fact that they get to be on a cross country team having a great time. It's really nice weather today, so we'll just try to relax and have fun and, and not overthink it. You know, certain days you gotta be on and certain days you want them to try to be off and just uh, just kind of going through the motions and enjoying the run. So that'll be kind of what we're doing today. Being out there with the guys, it's running out there, doing long miles, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's better than being by yourself. Joining this team has been great. I was very happy when my dad ended up getting a job down here. I fit right in. It's a great group of guys. Happy to be with one of the best programs and I'm really enjoying training with them. When I was a freshman I had the opportunity to race against Solomon Fountain and a few of those guys and it was an amazing experience. Of course, you know, I've seen the, the videos of Isaac Cortez and all those guys and it's, it's a great to be a part of the legacy. I'm excited to be a part of it. Looking forward to going out there and hopefully achieving the great things that they did. There's a lot of pressure, but it's a lot of fun trying to match what they did in the past. Great Oak has had like a lot of great girls um, from years past, so it kind of creates a culture that we want to continue. We don't want to lose a state championship for the first time and after our streak and everything. The older girls gave that culture to us and we're trying to continue with doing good things. Having that tradition ever since I was a freshman showed me how dominant and united the Great Oak team was. And that's one thing that motivated me to do better as I got older up to an upper class until now. And I think that idea of the dominant force that Great Oak is has been inspiring to me and everyone else because becoming a part of that it's just like really like fulfilling my um, aspirations. Doing that has just like helped everyone else improve and get the younger kids more motivated. Have a wonderful day, nice job. I think when you've got that kind of history behind you the kids come in and know you know, if I put in the work, I can I can become great like this kid did or that kid did. And we've had some some talented kids like Destiny Collins and Isaac Cortez and Spencer Dodds and those guys that came through and, and really showed everybody if you're willing to put the work in, you can be successful.